Good afternoon, guys. Happy Thursday to you. This is Steve from Vespa Motorsport and Scooter West, actually taking time out of our busy work afternoon to actually shoot a video of the most recent custom build we've done. This thing is fresh out of the service department. It's been done for about a day now. And this bike was actually custom built to order uh, by a customer that lives in North County. We're gonna maintain his uh, anonymity, so we're just gonna call him uh, Stephen Clark Kent for lack of a better way to go about it. But ironically enough, he watched a bunch of our videos and kind of fell in love uh, with a bunch of the uh, black stuff that we do, a bunch of the custom lighting stuff that we do. Came down with a very itemized list and said, I want this, 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 this. I've seen all your videos. Voila. We were so compelled by the complete package he put together that we had to get some video footage before we, left it, before we let it leave the shop. So we're actually going to start off uh, with highlighting a lot of the electrical stuff that uh, has been done to it. Starting at the very top, Scooter has our HID headlight installed. This will only work when the bike is running. These headlights are cool, they're super bright. You have the ability to turn them off and on. Off, on. So we got that going on. We also went ahead and installed this cool backlit light. That's uh, an accessory that we do that uh, is specifically for the supers. You know, the GTSs actually have the light there, uh, but the super one doesn't come with that, but this is a cool LED that backlights that. We're onto our third generation now of the front running light and turn signal kit. You can see that in action there. This thing still pops off even behind our custom tinted uh, turn signals that we do. And again, sticking with the electrical stuff first, spin the bike around to the back. We've got our tinted turn signals that come in a set of four. We just showed you the front ones. The tinted tail light. Look how cool that thing looks. And again, this is a 2015 Super in satin black. So one of the trim differences that they added is that chrome rim around there. Uh, the customer actually decided to leave that. It looks pretty sharp. But energizing the ignition, you'll see that our rear running light energizes, where we add the running light functionality to the uh, rear turn signals. The tail light's actually on right now. Pull the brake lever. And even though the tail light is that dark, it still looks pretty sharp and it's pretty visible through that thick tint. We also added the uh, LED turn signals in the back. So beyond all the custom electrical stuff we did, we did a complete cosmetic overworking of the bike. We matched the satin black with a lot of the metal components and some of the other plastic trim pieces and really did an all blackout package on this bike. So I'm just gonna kind of go off the cuff, start at the top and work our way down. We did our uh, black mirrors, the Tuono motorbike or superbike inspired mirrors. We got the pair of those installed. He went for the uh, black Faco small windshield. One cool thing he went for is the actual PM tuning adjustable brake levers. These things are awesome. So there's six different presets, much like you'd expect on like a high end sport bike, where you can actually adjust the amount of, uh, you can adjust the uh, location of the lever so you can really control the pull. We offer in-house a powder-coated uh, black bar end weight. What we did on this bike, because we were running stuff next door to the powder coater, instead of doing our standard kind of low gloss or Vulcan black, we did everything flat black, and it really does match this bike even better. So we did the black bar end weights. We've got the black leg shield trim installed that we sell as a pair, so the left and the right. Looks awesome. Talked about the tinted, uh, Turn signals front and back. Coming around to the back, we did the black exhaust shield, another item that we kind of keep stocked. Custom, again, we took the GTS 24F01, the folding Faco rack, disassembled that, ran it next door for powder coating. If you look at the detail, we did every little piece on it individually, so the rod, the springs, came out awesome. This is another new little thing that we've got going. We're doing these in black now. We'll have them in black shortly. It's the rack hold down. So it holds the spring loaded rack down. That thing's pretty awesome. Almost forgot getting there though. We did the uh, belt cover. Again, instead of our standard powder coated black, we did this one flat black to really match everything else on the bike. 
You can see we removed the uh, reflector plugs. We also actually removed the orange vinyl kit. People are kind of probably asking, 2015 it's satin black. Man, they don't even make that bike anymore. They do make the bike, but just remember that it's got that orange decals on the rear fairings and on the front fender, and that's all been removed. But again, so the black powder coated belt cover, we also went ahead and uh, sold him one of the uh, black uh, clutch nut covers that we do. It's fitted with the uh, 2014 style of side stand. So that's installed. We also did the black foot pegs. Again, custom in the flat black to match everything else. Looks pretty sharp. So again, we want to give uh, the proud new owner of this scooter. It's going to get delivered at 10 in the morning tomorrow by Big Dad, Fabio, uh, to the customer that we've anonymously named uh, Stephen Clark Kent. Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for inspiring the build. Thanks for the opportunity. And anybody at home that's interested in doing a similar bike, no problem, we got you covered. Doing the exact same, different, you name it, we can do it. This is Steve signing out from Vespa Motorsport and Scooter West. Thanks for watching.